I'm Pastor George Borkart, and this is another Higher Things video short. The Old Testament God is the same as the New Testament God, and the New Testament God is the same as the Old Testament God. That's the subject of today's Higher Things video short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, get the app, share, donate. If you love our videos, like our videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, ring the bell for notifications, get our app. It's available on all major platforms. Sharing is caring when it comes to Higher Things content and donate. A tax-deductible gift to higher things keeps us making known the gifts of Christ Jesus to youth and young adults. And if it's to youth, then it's to us old folks too. Give today. Still at home on lockdown, still frozen solid. Uh, that's why the, the liturgical vestment's behind me. But I wanted to pause for a second and talk to you about a reoccurring problem in Christianity that's been going on since about the first century. A guy by the name of Marcion, you want to look that fellow up, he said that um, the God of the Old Testament was different than the God of the New Testament, and he didn't want any of that Old Testament God. He wanted only New Testament God. So he went through the the, the New Testament, and he, um, and he eliminated all the books in the Old and New Testament that, of a God that was kind of judgmental, and he ended up with just a few books. Marcion, hopefully, um, somebody will put his picture up around here. M-A-R-C-I-O-N, Marcion is his name. Now, this is a this is an understanding that is carried over all the way into our time, where you'll hear um, folks right after they say something like, um, "Well, doesn't the Bible say somewhere?" And they, usually, it's it's totally heretical what they say next. But they'll usually say something like, well, that's the God of the Old Testament. I'm a New Testament God sort of person. And the idea is that somehow God in the Old Testament is a mean, angry God, but the God in the New Testament is a God full of grace and mercy. Well, the issue with that is, is a, couple, a couple issues with that. When you say Jesus is Lord, you're saying Jesus is Yahweh. Jesus is Adonai. Jesus is the God of the Old Testament. And so, by the very confession that Jesus is Lord, it does not mean Jesus is Master. It means Jesus is the God of the Old Testament. The God is Yahweh, is Jehovah, burning bush, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob God, God walking in the cool of the garden, that's J.C. So that's the first problem. The second problem is that the God of the Old Testament saves in the same way as the God of the New Testament. And for that, let's go to Romans chapter, I think it is verse 3 of chapter 4. There. Right above my head. Um, let's take a quick look at it. What shall we say there? What did Father Abraham gain? According to the flesh, if Abraham was justified, was forgiven by what he did and didn't do, which is the way the God of the Old Testament supposedly ran things, he would have something to boast about, but not before God. But what is written? Abraham believed God and God counted it to him as righteousness. That is a direct quote from Genesis Chapter 15, verse 6. And Abraham believed God, and God counted it to him as righteousness. There it is, right there in the Hebrew. Um, Abraham believed in the Lord, and God counted it, he reckoned it as righteousness. Sa. Sa. Sadiq. Righteousness. Sod. God. There it is. So, um, what does this mean? Well, let me tell you what it means. God in the Old Testament and God in the New Testament save people the same way. Nobody is saved except propter Christum on account of Christ. To confess that the God of the Old Testament is different than the God of the New Testament robs you of any historical basis for why Jesus does what he does and says what he says. Um, 
most importantly, it robs you of your Savior. You see, the God who created you is the God who redeemed you by his death on the cross, whose resurrection is your resurrection. That God set up the sacrifices to point to the sacrifice of Jesus on the cross. That God saved Abraham by faith. He saved you and me by faith, apart from the works of the law. And so it's just simply a misunderstanding. It's simply an a, a, a oversimplification. It's simply wrong to say that the God of the Old Testament is different than the God of the New Testament. Jesus is Lord in the Old Testament, and Jesus is Lord in the New Testament. That's what it means that Jesus is Lord. And so I hope this helps you. Argue with me. Dispute with me. Go one on one with the frozen one and argue with me in the comments. But nevertheless, take a look at this because Jesus saves Old and New Testament. No one is saved apart from him. I'm Pastor George Barker, and this has been another Higher Things video short.